Joining us now to break down the results is Rohit Kalkarni, uh, Roth MKM Managing Director. Rohit, welcome. So, I mean, even though Alphabet and Snap are both down right now after hours, when I look at the fundamentals of what they reported, isn't this a positive read-through for Meta? If anything, I mean, Google Search and other beat by almost a billion dollars, and YouTube ads was just about in line. Yeah, absolutely. I think uh, uh, meta read-throughs are positive. The overall ad spend, ad ecosystem read-throughs are positive. Um, YouTube, Search, and even Snap, all three of them are outperforming expectations on the top line. Regardless of the stock reaction, that's a fun expectations game and some minor uh, misses on the cloud as well as exec reshuffle on Snap. So, but at a very high level, uh, what we are seeing in the ad market, it's stable, it's growing and accelerating. Okay, so tell me then about the expectations for Meta. That stock, from what I can see, is down about a percent after hours. Maybe it should be, maybe it shouldn't be. Uh, any, any dangers you see on the expense line? There had been some concerns about how much Meta was spending on the metaverse, but investors seem to have turned away from that lately. Um, there are still concerns on the margin when it comes to how much more are they willing to spend on the metaverse. Uh, that gap or the, the width of uh, how wide the dispersion is from uh, uh, the spend expectations is wide. That makes me a little bit worried, So, which essentially means that somebody is going to be uh, disappointed tomorrow. People who are expecting at the low end versus high end, somebody is going to be disappointed. So that, that's the hair on the stock right now. Uh, on, on the bottom line, about 24 expectations. But the top line, uh, I feel uh, Meta is the str fastest growing ad company right now in this uh, ecosystem, and that's what they're going to prove tomorrow. So then would you be buying Meta here on the dip? Uh, yes, absolutely. I think uh, Meta has, is the cheapest, uh, most free cash flow generating mega cap and, uh, and probably the fastest growing mega cap right now, and that's why we would be buying. So, Rohit, uh, how do the comps look year over year, given that we're not talking about those uh, iOS headwinds anymore, and, and it seems that a lot of these advertising-driven companies have figured out the targeting issues? Um, the comps are still easier as the year progresses. Uh, so remember last year, Q4 was, uh, was a little bit slower for Meta as compared to, say, Google uh, and uh, Google Search as such. So from optic standpoint, comps are easier for Meta, relatively speaking. So the expectation is Meta continues to accelerate in, from 3Q to 4Q, and that's where uh, kind of high, higher end buy side bogies are around mid 20 growth rate uh, for 4Q is what they would probably end up guiding. So that's uh, those are the comps, but still uh, from an Apple headwind standpoint, that also kind of uh, disproves the hypothesis that um, fundamentally Meta is a broken company now. They're coming back, so that, that's uh, that's why we like Meta here, and I feel uh, um, uh, buying on uh, weakness uh, in Google stock is. Uh, is the right move for Meta. Are we still in early innings in terms of the AI applications and deployment versus investment here? Or do we already sort of have a sense of who the market leaders are going to be, especially when you look at an alphabet, for example? Uh, I think uh, we are still very early. In terms of uh, uh, experiments turning into real uh, kind of uh, real world use cases, into commercialization, into monetization, and then that virtuous cycle looping back into bigger experiments, bigger uh, commercializations as such. I think we are still in the first kind of uh, cycle as such. The first cycle we'll probably see that happen internally with all these advertising technology companies applying AI internally and then you can expand that externally. So it's, it's, it's still going to be a long virtuous cycle. Uh, and if you have a longer term horizon, I think all these companies, Google and Facebook, are, uh, are uh, going to show significant upside.